Hi, my name is Sophie Wetnell and um, I made uh, three works for this um, exhibition Convex Concave in Tank. The first one you can see, it's black dust. It's a big uh, in-situ installation. Then I did another work as well as in-situ for the exhibition, which is projected landscape. It's this um, triptych drawing um, and it's like a, a, the window of tank projected on the wall. And then the third work, uh, the video brainstorming. Uh, shadow, in a way, uh, you don't see it at first. I, I don't want this to be too obvious. Uh, this is something that we all know. We all have these shapes in our eyes. We, we, we know them by heart. So when you walk, you don't really especially realize there's no tree to that shadow. And then it's little by little, being in the, in the spot, suddenly you realize that it, it doesn't match with reality. And there is a certain decalage. I don't know how you say that in English. Um, so this is what I would like to provoke, but something smooth, something um, nearly going in your unconscious, not too obvious. So light has been always present in my work. Um, as I'm a painter, as a, as a study, I mean, I study painting, and uh, what I was really interested into was this claro obscuro. And uh, so this is something that is, is, stays in my back of my eye. So when I look at something, I, I, I always see light and shadow. I, I don't see the, the shape, I see light and shadow. So, uh, and for me, shadow as well is something that represent the unconscious in something that it's not material. It's something that you cannot uh, possess, something that you cannot grab. And I like this unmateriality of the light and the shadow. So brainstorming, it's a video I did with a photo camera. I do videos and I use different medium regarding the situation. Sometimes I stage a film and then I will use a professional camera. And in this case, I jump on a situation. And I was on top of a hill, on top of a mountain, full wind, and I felt this, this storm in my hair, which was for me representing very much what was the storm in my head. And suddenly I had this vision of this painting, uh, La Medusa from Caravaggio. And so I asked someone to film the situation. Um, I, I stood there in front of this huge mountain, on top of this huge mountain, in front of the sea. And you could see, it's like if you could see what's happening in my mind, or you could read my mind. As in the shadow, I have the feeling we can read your mind. The shadow for me represents this what we don't say, what we don't see, as the hair and the, the, the movement in the hair represent the, the movement of the, the thinking. Uh, I like to work regarding a space, regarding a situation. So when uh, Dirk and Charlotte proposed this concave convex exhibition, I wanted to react um, regard towards the museum, the space, and the situation China. Uh, I work a lot with landscape. I, I work a lot with mental landscape. And this one is especially made for tank. First, the shape of the landscape is made for tank. So uh, I discover the space. I discover those long um, windows. And I just wanted to in relation with the shadow I did on, on the, the, the place in front of the museum, I wanted to have this kind of uh, reverse of, uh, of projection. So there was a projected sh shadow and I wanted like to project a landscape. So you have the shape of the window that gives the shape of the landscape. And then what is the landscape? It's kind of a, a meeting between, I would say, uh, what I have in my education, this Flemish landscape, especially those uh, mountains of Patinir, 
and then this projection I have of Chinese mountains and Chinese landscape. So it's really something from the memory and something from the f fantasy. It's a fantasy of what is a Chinese landscape meeting my education and the, the landscape I fantasy as well of Patinière.